Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this HCSR505 motion sensor to control a light or detect a motion and turn on the buzzer. For example, if I move here my hand, as you can see, the AC bulb is turned on. So this can be done for so many ways and other things. So you can connect, you can turn uh, a camera on or something that uh, open the door or something if a motion is detected. The, uh, you can get the code for this project by clicking in the link in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. The matter of warning that I'm, I've connected this relay now to the AC 120 volts so it's very important that once this is connected to the voltage you do not touch this and you do not work with this and also make sure that you do not leave this on the surface that's metallic so it should be on a insulated surface get started so this is the module as you can see here very tiny and we have here three connections so on this side it is labeled as plus so you will connect it to the plus 5 volts and from here you connect to the negative or the ground and this is the signal out from the middle so this can work up to 20 volts and it has a built-in 3.3 volt regulator so you don't worry about the input voltage unfortunately there is no light or anything to know the activity length of the module is 34.3 millimeter so depth and the width of the module is 11.6 millimeter because this is round so let me explain the ac bulb here so this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on but i have disconnected one of these two wires here so let me show you so I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it. So it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. So let me explain the relay now. The relay is five volts, so you do need other external power so it can be powered with the Arduino. So we have three connections here. So this is common. So you always connect your one of the wires that you connect to AC or DC, whatever, heater, light, whatever. So you connect it, the light is connected here, one of them. And the other one will be either connected here or here, depending on the application. So this means normally connected. So without any power to this, it's always connected. If you connect another wire here, so it will be connected and your device will have power. And this is normally open, so when you connect the, the middle here and the other one is here, it will be normally open. When the relay energizes or get signal, this will connect these two wires. Uh, we have two uh, LEDs here. This red LED is for uh, when it gets power, and then this will activate it when it gets signal. So the three inputs or the three pin for the uh, relay or VCC so this is VCC and this is ground so you will connect this to 5 volt and this is connected to the ground or negative wire and this is input the input is where the signal comes so let me explain the wiring for the motion sensor this side is connected the plus is connected to the 5 volts here and then and then on this side the ground is connected to the ground this blue and then we have the middle one which is the signal out this is connected to the pin 2 to the pin 2 so relay has three pins so VCC is connected to 5 volts ground is connected to the ground and here so VCC and then ground and then the signal in is connected here at pin 9 
for the buzzer, we connect it from here, and then also we take one from five volts, and we'll connect it to the buzzer here. Buzzer has a plus sign on, on here, as you can see. So you just plug it in here, and plug in here. This is the negative, the positive will be here. Now I have connected the AC wires between the common and normally open NO. Normally, uh, common and normally open. So let me explain the code here. From the top, we define pin 2 for the PIR, that's a passive infrared. So the output from the uh, module will be connected here, and then pin 8 for the buzzer to make a buzz for us, and also pin 9 for the relay. So you can eliminate this if you don't need it. For setup, it starts from here to here, and then we have we are saying serial dot begin 9600 milli uh, 9600 baud sorry is for the serial monitor so this will be something in here and then PIR and then that's as if I type two here we put input pull up and then buzzer and relay are f as an output so to control the devices and then loop starts from here to here and all these action happens here. So we say digital write PIR, that's from pin 2. So we say get uh, read the value of pin 2, store it in the motion. So uh, and then we say if motion is equal true. So it means if it has some value. So you don't have to put equal 1, equal, equal 1. That's extra. This will work the same. So it, it will be true. Uh, if it's true, then we say motion detected. And also we set the mm, buzzer high. So the buzzer will buzz. And also we set the relay low because the relay that I have is minus triggered with low. So then if this is not true, then we say else. We print this text and also then we say buzzer is low because the buzzer was high or if not, just put it low, that's safe. And if the relay was connected, now make it disconnect by setting it high. Remember these two are the opposite of each other. So if you don't want to control a buzzer or relay or do something else, let's say a motor or something, so whatever action you want, do it here. And whatever action in the else case, if it's not true, do it here. And then we have 500 milliseconds waiting. And then the loop continues like that. As you can see on the screen, it says nothing moves. The device is on here and the relay has power it's just waiting the light the ac bulb is also off and the buzzer is off i have covered the sensor underneath here with this box because as soon as i was moving it was going to be turned on so now as soon as it detects the motion the light is on the buzzer is on so this has eight second trigger once it is triggered it waits for eight seconds so let me cover it as soon as you cover it or the motion is not there, it takes 8 seconds to stop. And unfortunately, you cannot control this timing. This is out of your control, it's made in the module. So this was introduction to HC SR505 motion sensor module to control a light or something. Thank you for watching, please sum up the video, please share it, and also if you have any questions or comments, uh, write at the comment section below. I will try to reply and also don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so far